Hey guys, Javino here with uh, another entry on my Redstone for Dummies series. It's been a little too long since I made my last one, so I figured uh, why not get back on it. So today I'll be teaching you about RS NOR latches, and despite the complicated name, it is actually a pretty simple device. Simple in relative terms, but you may also notice the uh, sexy new lighting effects notch added. So basically what you got to do, this thing is completely symmetrical, so that's nice. I like my symmetry. So you basically just got to make two torches hanging off blocks facing either way and cover every unused spot in a uh, 2 by 3 rectangle with, or 2 by 4 rectangle rather, with redstone. And then off each corner like this, not like this, like this you'll want redstone lines just for inputs and such which I shall explain okay so basically the reason it's called an RS nor latch is for some reason they decided that uh, the input 1 shall be named S and input R or input 2 would be named R God knows why but I'm just gonna call them input 1 and 2 for simplicity's sake so input 1 input 2 Output one, output one rather, <laughs> output two. So uh, input one basically, it uh, imp it's the input signal, and what an RS neural latch does is it keeps that signal, like it just holds that uh, signal. It's like a one bit memory type thing. So it receives a signal in here, and it holds that signal until it receives an input from here which resets it so uh, I will demonstrate so it receives that and then even if you get rid of this it still holds that's that uh, charge until it receives something from input 2 which releases that and uh, basically this is output 1 output 2 the only difference between output 1 and output 2 is output 2 is always an equal to output 1. They're both opposites, always. So really it just depends which one you want to use for your purpose. It basically just eliminates the need of a NOT gate afterwards if you want to use the inverted signal type thing. So uh, whichever output you want to use, you can use. It really doesn't make a difference. Uh, so let's try that again. Remember uh, input 1 when you build the thing is always on the dark side so it receives the signal holds the signal and until it sees, receives a uh, input from uh, input 2 it keeps that signal as soon as it receives an input from input 2 it puts the signal like that and it keeps outputting the signal actually until it receives a uh, another pulse like that and this in itself may not seem extremely useful well, it is pretty useful, but uh, not as useful as uh, what it can be combined with uh, other gates to do, which is create flip-flops. Flip-flops are probably, they are most definitely the most complex thing in Redstone, but uh, they're probably one of the most useful things ever. The only thing is uh, they're gigantic. They're like anywhere from like five, six by five, six blocks. So, and bigger, depending on which variant you're using. And uh, the RS nor latch, like every anything to do with redstone, there is uh, multiple variants of it. I just use this because it's the easiest to remember because it's so compact and uh, symmetrical. And it's just really convenient to use compared to all the others. Like the others have spots in between where there aren't redstone and stuff, so less symmetrical, harder to remember type thing. And really the only difference between this and other ones are other ones have more isolated inputs and outputs, meaning um, the the uh, output here can actually inf uh, affect the uh, RS nor latch itself when it receives something and it can screw it up. The other outputs, they use like NOT gates and stuff, so it can't actually receive stuff, but unless you're doing something either really weird or doing it wrong, you shouldn't have a problem with anything. But uh, that's about it for our snore latches. Um, I know in the past like two or three videos of Don and I, we're going to do flip flops next. We're going to do flip flops next. 
Uh, I actually wanted to do flip swaps this video, but I looked at RS neural latches and I'm like, yeah, I should probably teach these first just because RS neural latches are the main component of a flip flop. And it would be easier to understand how a flip flop works if you understand RS neural latches. So, uh, yeah, there you guys go. Also, a uh, little side note this is, well, I guess it's my server now. It was my friend's, but he kind of quit life, so I took it over. And we will be releasing it to the public probably within, if not within the next few days, uh, within a week, probably. So, yeah. Keep looking forward to that. But for now, see you guys.